Hello guys. How you doing? How are you? Remember that you can answer in the chat or on your microphone. How you doing? Everything Hi, is okay. Good. I'm pretty good. Nice, Gabriela. What about the other one? Everything is good. Great. Good. I'm pretty good. Thank you. I'm glad to read that. I'm okay. Excellent. Great. Good job. I'm very well. Nice. And Mr. William Gray. All oh, it's okay, Mr. Good Diego. For you, nice. Merlin, I'm so good. I'm glad to read and hear that all of you are okay. Now we are going to start with the class. For today is free writing. And let me pass the slide. Okay, as a group, well, we have the same that is develop writing skills in English in order to be able to write professionally by learning about the different types of paragraphs and writing techniques, working individually and in groups. And now in contents, we have a question and the develop of the topic that is quick writing. I don't know if some of you is with the microphone on. Okay. Did you have the definition about what is Great writing. Someone of you can help me to read it. So, Moon? Me? You yes, you can do it. Thank you. Okay. Free writing is practice of writing down all your thoughts with a stopping and with a regard for spelling, grammar, or any of the usual rules for writing. It might include a topic as a general guide, or it might not. The purpose of the exercise varies, but it can be used to generate ideas and to clear out distracting dog. There are various possible forms of rewriting, such as. Thank you so much, Merlin. Okay, as the definition says, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes in your spelling, sorry, and your grammar, or how you can write the, the paragraph that you're writing. And you can, for example, uh, choose the topic that you want to write this type of paragraph. And in the final of the definition, it says that you can do the great writing like journal essay. And with this, we can like put our ideas as we think we can put the like or put in the paragraph and it doesn't matter if you make mistakes in your free writing because you can write something or whatever you want. 
Okay, here we have this free writing effective. Okay, free writing is an effective technique to shut down your inner sensor. Okay, if you don't know about what is your inner sensor, is about uh, that you know that you are doing something not well and you can do it better. That is the inner sensor. That you know about that, for example, you're writing a paragraph, for example, you're free writing, and you know that you have different mistakes in the paragraph, and you know that you can do it better. And it say also that an experience writing in the state of flow. The idea is to put down your thoughts as they arrive without overweighting them or caring for the language in which they get expressed. Such writing is efficient and highly enjoyable. Letting go of your expectations and judgment is great. Moreover, it's easy to keep yourself focused as you are immersed in your house to connect to the topic you are writing about. Okay, as I said to you before, it doesn't matter if you are writing your paragraph, your essay with mistake, mistakes, sorry, with grammar mistakes, or remember that this type of writing is for example, I think about one trip and for example, I say, oh, this is, or oh, this was my first trip that I do and I didn't do it too much. It doesn't matter how you can write your trip writing. You can put your ideas in the paragraph or essay without Fear that you are making mistakes. And here we have what is the importance of great writing. Someone can help me to read, please. Someone. Okay, free writing is a tool that many writers use to combat writer's blog. The process of free writing liberates you from expectation. So, open up the space for creativity and allows you to download all of your thoughts feeling and stresses that are flowing around in your head. It is kind of like writing a gentle, emotional way without going about where the way takes you. Here we really say that open up Respect for all creativity. You need to, to do someone with creativity, and also we can put all those as we want. But uh, I think a word it doesn't matter about that. You can put your feelings and also transmit the ideas that you think. In that moment. Now we have when better do right. Okay, it says that that project this practice. Most people suggest read writing first thing in the morning, even before you get out of bed. Why? 
Okay, here we have the answer about that. Okay, it is because the night or subconscious processes all of the events of that day when we wake up, our brain has stored and made sense of it all. Free writing up and right allows you to get all of that processes information down onto paper in out of your head. This means that you can start the new day with a renewed sense of clarity and completion. If we do quick writing in the morning after wake up, we can have better ideas or also also clarify our ideas about what topic we want to do the quick writing. Okay. For example, if we are or we want to do a quick writing um, to the people that love write. Okay, it's better if you're practicing the free writing that you do it in the morning because your ideas it will be better. And you can have clear ideas about the topic that you are writing in that moment. Okay, now do we want to spend too much time doing quick writing? Okay, those who have a quick writing practice usually commit to writing for a certain amount of time or a certain number of pages. For example, you may choose to write for 50 minutes every morning, as long as your 50 minutes are up, you put your pen down. Even if you are mid-sentence, mid-sentence, other choose to provide a certain number of ready for stopping. Using these techniques, you need to take into account different points in which you can clarify for ideas related to the topic that we are writing in that moment. As writers, we are creating a script writing. We need to remember that it's better to do it in the morning. Okay. Um, if you think or you want to, to, to spend too much time doing the script writing, is like, uh, better that you put, for example, 10 minutes or 50 minutes in which you like do this type of writing because it's better because you can like have your clear ideas and also you can write in the best way. It doesn't as I said to you before, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes in this type of writing because it is free. And also we have always be writing. Okay, free writing doesn't have a lot of rules. That's why it's called free writing, but there is one you must follow. Okay, don't stop writing until you have reached the time limit. Your hand should always be moving, whether you are typing or writing out by hand. This is part of what makes free writing useful. It forces you to write something or you at any resistance, especially from yourself. Okay, in this one, basically, um, it's about that we don't can stop to write or free writing, but as I said before, we need to put a limit time, for example, 10 minutes to write this or a number of pages that we want to do. 
the free writing. But when we start, for example, if we put 10 minutes as a time limit, um, when the time finish, we need to 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 finish or we're writing about sorry, and we need to do something different about because we need to stop for free writing when the 10 minutes are finished. And here we have the benefit of writing. The first one is reduce expectation of perfection. Okay. In this one, we can explain that, um, as I said to you before, that it doesn't matter if you make mistakes because you don't like search, write something perfection with perfection. Um, do you want to put your ideas in a paper and it doesn't matter if you make mistakes? Okay, the second one is that the third one is increase creativity and inspiration. Okay, in this one, um, we can be creative with, with the great writing that we are doing in that moment. And we can, for example, inspiring ourselves to create something um, in which uh, we can transmit a message about something, about a specific topic that you have. The fourth is uncover thoughts and ideas you never knew that you have. With this one, you can know about if you have different skills and you can uncover them because when we are writing this type of writing, sorry, um, we just put our ideas as we want. And the five is change your perspective on challenging situations. Okay, here we have it to do with writing. Okay, the first one is just write. And it says that any writing coach or writing teacher will tell you that you must segregate the writing process from the editing process. When it comes to free writing, first drafts are repositories for every idea that comes to mind. Whoever agrees or tangential, don't worry about work count. Don't worry about market viability. Don't worry about sentence structure. Don't worry about the spelling. Unleash your creativity, let the ideas flow, and prove that there will be time for editing later. This rule applies whether you wish to write a novel, a play, a short story, or a poem. Okay, here we have something. And that is that we don't need to think about uh, the sentence structure, the spelling, the grammar, the required. We just need to let the idea flow. We need to know that we don't need to edit the requirement that we have. Now we have all the ones that is time yourself. Wow. 
by starting at a page or computed a screen for any great, great period of time. Now we have to bring ideas to the session. Okay, some white is particularly poets begin sessions with no idea for him. They plan to tackle it. They simple begin writing with the first word or phrase that come, comes to the mind. This is important because when we are writing this type of essay or paragraph, we need to put the first word or phrase that we have in the mind. And then they let the process unfold from there. Why you can work toward this point. If you are new to the medium of writing and are seeking to unleash the writer reading, plan your pre writing sessions when you have a strong idea of your story or theme. The consistency and it may help you achieve that consistency now we have don't be afraid okay this is about don't be afraid writing that we do. I think that this information is too simple because as I said to you before, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes when you are writing this type of writing. We need to remember that we can choose uh, the topic that we want and we need to share our ideas, how they are in our mind. It doesn't matter the correction in this type of writing. Okay, here we have the complementary resources. That is a video and that is a web page. The video is about writing and the web page is about how to improve or how to do our uh, free writing. Now we have the activity. And it's about to say that after attending the conference, read these instructions for the activity of the week. Create two free writing paragraphs, eight or 12 lines, taking into account the example present in the video conference. I think that this is irrelevant because I don't put the samples in the, the slides, but the topics to create your great writing are what I expect in my future. What is my favorite trip? What I think about my future? And what is my dream vacation? And the last one is what is my biggest fear? You need to choose two topics to do your great life. Read in a work document and include a professional cover. Or of the activity that you have this week. Those are the topics to the activity. You need to choose two to create your free writing. Do you have any question? I have a question. Tell me. 
Um, free writing is like a brainstorming. You can do a brainstorming just to clarify your ideas, but you can write about what you want. It doesn't matter your grammar, your spelling. You can write your, for example, the idea, the idea sorry, that you have in your mind when you are writing the, the this type of paragraph or essay. You but I don't. This, tell me. But I don't understand how to make a big writing. So, uh, I like understand. I will show um, that topic. Like, for example, my future. I will talk about all about of my future or just the main idea, like brainstorming. I think the both ways. But I I consider that you can like um, do a brainstorming just to clarify clarify your ideas. Um Carlos. Um, yeah, can you go back to a previous slide? Uh, I'm gonna tell you what where to stop. Okay, just go back. Go back. Keep moving. Okay. Uh, what is free writing? Uh, okay, go back. That is the first one. Ah, oh, that's the first one. Let me see. I yes. forgot to, which one was that. Okay. Move it. Move it to the other side then. Okay. Again. Again. Continue. Continue. Okay, there, I'll stop there. Uh, who, who was the one who was asking uh, that question? David, right? David, yes? It was Diego. Diego, okay, Diego. Uh, can you listen to me, Diego? Yes? Yes, Mr. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see, Diego, it says right there, uh, free writing doesn't have a lot of rules, right? So remember, this is called free writing. You are not going to follow rules here. Okay, what happens in this case? Well, it says, that is why it is called free writing, but there is one you must follow, okay? Don't stop writing until you have reached the time limit. What are you going to do here? Well, you can set a time or you can set a specific number of lines, okay? That is what, that is what Santos did, right? Santos said, okay, you are going to write one paragraph about one of, the, of those topics that he gave you right there, right? You are going to write between eight to 12 lines. And it's not like you are going to do a brainstorming. Free writing is like, okay, I'm going to write about my future. So I'm going to start writing and I'm going to write what comes to my mind at that moment, okay? And that's it. It doesn't matter if you make grammatical mistakes. It doesn't matter if it is not uh coherent right you are just going to write about your future and that's it okay you are not going to follow rules important it's not important it, it's, it's not important right what i what you are going to do here it's like okay i'm going to write about this topic and i'm going to write what comes to my mind and that's it that's it okay this is like a, a, a writing technique that is used like to, uh, to to start writing, right? Then you can check your, your mistakes, you can, uh, you can fix all those mistakes, but first of all, you are going to write what comes to your mind and that's it. And that's what I want. Okay. I don't know if that's have... clear or you have more dApps. <laughs> we don't have- I have a question too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know if 